Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here to talk about the second anniversary of Dragalia Lost. That's right, we finally got some info on it. It's coming up pretty soon. The digest has been announced. So for today's video, I'm just going to be looking at doing a quick look over of what to what is currently what we know. As far as we know, this is what currently the setup for the second anniversary is going to be. So that's what the video is, and let's just get straight to it. All right, so first... Um, the second anniversary countdown bonus has already started. It's a couple tickets. Um, I think it's currently one, two, three. It's six days worth, which uh, that will probably lead right into the anniversary now that I think about it. So let's look at this part right here because this is the very important part. The second anniversary Dragalia Digest is incoming. That will start on the 24th at 8 p.m. That's for my time. Um, don't remember what it is. It's let me see, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's three hours before uh, daybreak. Not daybreak. Re restart? The hell do you call that? Doesn't matter. Either way, digest. Uh, digest is where we're going to get a vast majority of our info from. It's where we're going to get, if there, it's where we're going to get um, changes. That's where we're going to know what are the actual changes to the game that are coming. Um, any of the updates, stuff like that. The banners. Uh, if we're going to have any collabs. This is where they'll be announced. Uh, any of the big stuff, they're all saving it for right here. Um, chances are they would still... No, I don't know how much they're going to... Maybe they'll save some of it off for the this month in Dragalia. But for the most part, I think a lot of the stuff you're going to want to wait for is in the digest. So um, I'm not sure if they're going to stream it or if they're just going to do the same thing they did last year when it was a video. Which it, I really hope that they stream it because when it was a video, people just immediately went to the... <laughs> to the collab part and said Monster Hunter's in it and I don't know I personally prefer it if it's something else anyway here's another thing that they launched they launched the second anniversary website so this is the main reason I wanted to make the website so if you can see up here the banner unfortunately some of it's getting cut off um you can see the uh a lot of the second year units you can see here from this is from New Year's from the year of the rat uh, we got the festival, we got Fat Boy and Chefs, uh, Chefs can call him Chef Boy RD. We got uh, Song Zong and the Light Crew. Uh, we got Ordric, who was uh, last year's event, which his event is currently going on, and I suggest you do it because it's important to the story that they're going to tell. I forget what event you came from. I want to say it was a rerun. It was like a weird random rerun. I never was able to pull you, so that's why I don't remember. We have Good Omens over here, the most recent event. Chelsea, who also showed up in a random banner. Uh, the the BFFs. I was about to say Nadine, and I don't remember your name. So apologies for that. Um, and we have the weird crew here. Also not showing is the Mad Kid crew, which I also don't remember the names of. Uh, Andromeda and the... The, the the Shadow the Hedgehog boy. Anyway, let's go down. It's a connected story, so play the main campaign and the Fractured Futures raid event to revive. Uh, raid, raid event revival to prepare for the second anniversary event. That means they want you to be caught up to the story, which will be important. I'm still not caught up to the story, so chances are before the 24th happens, I'm going to have to catch up myself. So I'm going to have to do that. Uh, second anniversary update coming soon. Uh, coming soon. Second anniversary raid event, which will be a... I'm going to assume some kind of sequel to the Fractured Futures. I don't know if he'll deal with more time stuff, but probably something like that. Uh, the update is where we're going to expect a lot of the things, such as the weapon changes, uh, which a lot of people are saying are going to be pretty big. How big? We'll wait and see. But it's not just going to be weapon changes. I'm hoping for a lot of other changes, because the last time we had a uh, uh, year anniversary, that's where we had like banner changes and huge... Like, the banner changes for a lot of people kind of helped a lot with Dragalia. It really did change how you kind of summoned in Dragalia after that, I will say. Um, and getting the Worm Prince out of the banner and doing all that. So I don't know what else they have planned, but I hope it's big, and I hope it has to deal with some of the content stuff. New content coming soon. So not including a raid event. They're going to consider a raid event and content. I'm going to say right now, um, I don't know what new content they could possibly be adding, just because... You know, there's a pandemic going on. Every single gotcha right now, with no exceptions, uh, except for maybe Fake Grand Order NA, because they have to follow a weird schedule that was set up two years ago. They're going to suffer from the current um, pandemic issue two years from now. Um, a lot of gotchas just don't have a lot of content right now. Um, 
it's kind of a lot of the samey stuff that you always keep on doing. Um, and the reason is, is that, you know, there's just not that COVID really screwed up everything. So excited to see what new content could possibly coming. What it is though, no idea. Some more second anniversary events. So this is, we're getting an anniversary raid event. And then right after it, chances are it's another second anniversary event. A social media event, I don't know what it could be. Maybe it will be something like, uh, they do like to do this thing where you retweet one of their tweets. Um, uh, and if you're lucky, you get your choice of like automatically choosing one unit or dragon from what I remember. Um, I never won one of those. One of the people in Trash Alliance, uh, Mayo, who if you know from back in the old Dokkan mod days, who even knew of the Dokkan mod, um, he actually won one of those, and I've hated him ever since, and I continue to hate him for it. So I, can, I expect something like that coming for uh, second anniversary, it only makes sense. Here's a big one, second anniversary summon showcase one. Second Anniversary Summon Showcase 2 and Summon Showcase Plan for Early October. So that means there's not... There are three banners currently being planned for um, Anniversary. What it could mean... Here's the thing. Jugalia is not the kind of game where they do Gala Banner. No, I take that back. It wasn't a game where they used to do the thing where you would do like Gala Banner and then you would have to wait two months for gala banner but the way gala banner is now you can get two gala banners in a month so the chances of these two being gala banners i think are pretty high um i could see one and two being gala gala banners if there are new gala units in each one i don't know if anything i could probably see second anniversary summon showcase one being a gala remix featuring like a constantly rotating banner full of old galley units and that's a way to get new people in and they can pull for it um to get free pulls which i really hope if there's if they're not going to bring back free pulls for because they haven't been back in months i would say now would be the best time we're in a celebration just give us free pulls if there's no harm in it um i could see this being a uh, gala remix and then here with the actual launch of the new event because as I said, the 24th, that means a new event won't start yet. So that means we'll still be knee deep in this. So there's plenty of time for this to be a Gala Remix. And then for this to be Gala Banner with the new event. And then for this to be, I don't know. I don't know what could they do. I don't think it would be the collab banner right away. I don't remember Fire Emblem, no, Monster Hunter being the same way. Now, was it Fire Emblem or was it Monster Hunter like a year ago? Man, my mind is so messed up. It might have been Fire Emblem right after that. No, they announced Mega Man for the anniversary. Man, my mind is all messed up. It's it's forever. Um, and of course, this is the last thing. High difficulty quest coming soon. Wow, wait. What in the name of... There was way more than I thought. Event plan for mid-October coming soon. Summon showcase plan for late October. Event plan for late October. New information will be revealed in early November. So this is what we could, I guess, consider the end end of the um, the anniversary stuff. So, I don't know. A lot planned up. I don't know when they would want to do... Like, okay, so for collab purposes, here's the thing. If they want to do something easy, it would be bringing back uh, Mega Man and Monster Hunter. Um, Monster Hunter you could totally bring back um, with new units and everyone would be perfectly happy. I don't know if you just said we're bringing back Mega Man, people would be happy. Here's the thing, there has been a recent uptick in people appreciating Mega Man, the unit, as a person. Because he has, when he launched, Mega Man was the worst uh, 5 star in the entire game, no doubt in my mind, for how much... The Mega Man event, when it launched, it only had one unit, and that one unit had to carry for the fact that it had to have basically the strength of every single... It had to be basically worth it. This one unit, we weren't getting more units from the Mega Man world, so we're only getting him, so he better be worth it, and he was not worth it. Um, over time, they have made Mega Man better. They gave him a co-op ability that is extremely good, um, extremely unique. 
Um, a lot of the changes to the way combat is, he can finally charge the Mega Buster and move. He wasn't able to do that at launch, um, which is really dumb. Um, so Mega Man as a unit, I think, is in a better place. He could definitely use a Mana Spiral. That's how I feel. Um, you can disagree with me or not, but I think if he's coming back, he has to have a Mana Spiral or else there's no point in bringing him back. Um, or they have to... Do it prop. The problem with bringing back Mega Man is that the event itself sucks. It's like a reuse of a lot of dragon fights, and if you think that some of the fights are kind of reusing a lot of stuff, it was literally like just re like the stage. The state they only worked on stages, and that was about it. Like the stages were new, but then all the bosses you were fighting the basic dragons. You were fighting Brunhilda, Midgar Soma, Zodiac, you know, the giant chicken, all those, Mercury. And then Wily was the one boss, and then there was a Mega Man boss, and th that was basically it. So, I don't know, they would need to do a lot to get people kind of excited for a Mega Man event. They will, the, the people who don't have Mega Man will definitely be happy to have Mega Man, um, but everyone else is kind of like, I don't know why you would bring this event back. Not like Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter was really fun. Um, at least I think it was really fun. It also helped that it had like a raid style event, and you could definitely see, you definitely would want to see more uh, Dragalia dudes dressed up in Monster Hunter costumes, is what I think about it. Um, but other than that, there's only, the only really other hint we've ever had of another collab have always been like weird shadow rumors of like, oh, maybe it will be with this, maybe they're thinking the next series will be something from Square Enix. But ever, ever since Monster Hunter got hardcore leaked, there hasn't been any really solid proof that it would be, um, you know, there's no solid proof of anything. Even the thing I said, you shouldn't even really consider that. That's just something I've heard, but even I don't believe it, because the person who said it was kind of like, yeah, they don't, they don't 100% know. So we don't know what's up. And I, I was told that months ago, and there has been no follow-up for it. So it's kind of like, wait and see. Because uh, the person, they could easily have changed. Everything could have changed, especially with the way um, Nintendo views the mobile market now. It could, everything could have changed, but I think that's it. That's it for the second anniversary. I'm jazzed up. I'm ready to see what's up, what's new. I hope for a lot of new stuff. Um, just because it's very hard. <laughs> unless you play, I guess unless you want to do a lot of very different builds with characters, there's really no reason to... It's very hard to actually kind of make videos, I think. No, there's dudes who can totally do it. There's people better than me that make <laughs> videos. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of today's video, everyone. Tell me what you hope for the second anniversary. I'd love to hear it. And of course, I didn't say at the beginning because I just wanted to get right into it because I was so excited. But if you want more Dragalia stuff, you can follow me. You can leave a like on this video if you ended up liking the video. Comment about what you feel like. And I'll see you guys in the next uh, video from whatever I do. Get hype, man. The second anniversary is here. I also expect the second anniversary song to be better than the one year anniversary. And God, I hope it's going to be hard because that, that song's a damn banger. It's a banger and a half. All right, everyone. Till next time. Bye bye.